All right, what's up guys? This is the new HDI Sonar Shuttle. Um, just picked this up today from Shields and Eden Perry. And uh, yeah, uh, I am in need of a new uh, shuttle. So I thought I'd give this a try. So this is just gonna be an unboxing video and uh, just to see how it is. So I thought this one was uh, really cool. Um, just super cool stuff. Got an LED light. Um, everything's already pre-wired, and yeah, I I think the packaging is great. Um, the the uses for it, uh, it's really vast. So I'm excited. So let's get to it. Already cut it open. This is my first impressions, actually. Get this little screwdriver. All right, here we go. Wow, that looks pretty cool. This is actually my first eye shuttle ever. Like for my life scope, I've been DIYing everything, and now I I, I officially have a, a new shuttle, and I'm so excited. Toss that way. First impressions. We should look at that. Looks nice. This is what the back looks like. Pretty cool. All weatherproof and everything. This mounting rail. Oh yeah. This is nice. Right, looks like pole holders. Let me grab it. or else um, it could be the transducer pole holder as well but it's super cool really nice so you get two of them I'm assuming uh, oh yeah track rail system no ice it just sticks in like that that is so cool cool well, leave that there this looks like uh, velcro HD innovations. Alright, this is the main thing that I'm excited for. So it has these little uh, knobs here. You can see, screw that. Oops, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Let's take a look real quick. Once you loosen it, I think it should just pop out, I'm assuming. Unless I am missing something else. No. Nope. Yeah, it should just pop out. Let's take a look. Oh, I unscrewed everything. Oops. But yeah, pops out. I think I just kind of over screwed it but okay it's not bad I think one one thing that would be good if these little screws here are spring-loaded and um, that they don't fall out like this because honestly with this it, it can drop any moment but basically this is just drew then through hole and there's like a threading right there you guys can see that thread hole but other than that, yeah, battery tray looks cool, sonar plug-in, sonar, battery hookup, I got a amp outdoors, 20 amp, this will survive a day, love these batteries, but yeah, that's so far from unboxing. Um, weight-wise, super light. It's probably gonna balance out. It's kind of leaning more towards like this, but if I put the black box, it's probably gonna balance out like that more. 
But other than that, button wise, premium. You got, what is this? Two USBs, nice. And then, um, what is over here? A charger port. This is a need. The charger port here. You don't need to unplug your battery and charge it anymore. You just plug it in there, and well, bam, charges. Really, really beautiful. I like the texture too. Really rugged, weatherproof. It'll be nice out in the sun and during the ice. But yeah, this is a feature here I was looking forward to. Really, really cool. Open. Yeah, alrighty. Well, that's basically the unboxing of this and first impressions. Really nice, sleek, durable as heck. So yeah, let me uh, install everything and then uh, I'll get back to you guys. So yeah. Alrighty guys, well this is the completed setup, that took a while, um, yeah it was a, I went through the YouTube page to just kind of see how to install it and yeah it's pretty good, pretty straightforward, I kind of left these un, um, unscrewed here just so I can kind of show you my wiring here, show you really quick, alright. So here it is, super simple. As you can see, if I can bring it up, battery is in there, terminal is all plugged in, so the power on and off is all plugged in. Um, I did have to strip the power cord wire just so that you can add it to the, the plus sonar and the minus sonar as the video instructed. And then I adjusted the battery belt so that my battery can be snugged in there. And uh, other than that, other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a 93 SV. So if you want a size uh, proportion, this is a 93 SV on this um, HDI shuttle. So yeah, let's close it up and um, turn it on for the first time. Let's see, it takes a little bit. Kind of screw this in. I will screw it in later, but honest truth, moment of truth here, turn on, well bam, Garmin, oh yeah. Super, super cool. Yeah, this is my first ice shuttle and I would have to say that I am a happy customer with this. This is so well built, um, very, very cool. Um, very new, this shuttle's still new. So, might as well go grab it if you don't have a new ice shuttle yet. But yeah, there it is, live scope on the shuttle. And uh, yeah, super cool, LED light here too. Really, really cool. That's a must. But yeah, this is the shuttle, guys. Um, really cool. With everything installed, oh, pretty hefty. I'd say about like 20 pounds, 23, 25 pounds. Estimated guess, but it's not bad at all. Really, really cool. Um, yeah, black box is is in the back here. And uh, 
uh, yeah, I'm ready for some ice fishing. So, yeah, that's the review and initial impressions of uh, this HDI Sonar Shuttle. So if you don't have one yet, definitely pick one up. Super, super cool. And uh, yeah, I'm so stoked. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoy this, like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the ice. Peace out.